Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaud RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Many of you have been asking for a two bedroom, two bath North Point. Voila, I got one behind me. It's a 390 CKDS. Finally, we have one. I'm excited to show it off to you. But before I start, let me show off my three favorite things about this floor plan. Number one, there's two bedrooms and two full baths. A full bedroom up front with a king bed and a second bedroom in the back with a queen bed that also has a full bath. Number two, a huge loft area, even big enough for adults like me. And number three, we have a 360 degree security system. Okay now, 390 CKDS, we're 44 feet long, 16,000 and change on dry weight. So this isn't a small trailer, but it's got a lot of features that are very friendly for full-time use, even if you have a family. Let's do a walk around on the outside before we go on the inside. Now this unit, in addition to having storage up here, has a little combo kitchen assembly as well as your pass-through storage. This is a griddle, so press on these things to re release it and it pulls out. So you have your nice griddle here, your drink refrigerator in here, and then you can see right beside it is our central vac system. This has a bag in it just like your household vacuum cleaner, and I'll point out the central vac. I hope I remember to point out the central vac system when I go inside. You can see this nice pass-through storage in here. I really love how Jayco, you can see the framing members here, but this is all insulated. This is climate controlled. You can see a little duct up there on that middle raceway. So this is receiving heat when the furnace cycles on and off. If you want to put a television down here, you can. There's cable and power connections right up here. Now this unit's gen prepped and virtually all North Points that we order, we order them gen prepped. So whether or not you choose to add a generator, one of the benefits that you'll get is more propane capacity. If this wasn't gen prepped, you'd only, you'd have, you'd have a lot less propane capacity. Now you can see up here that we're prepped for a generator. The wiring is right there. Again, if you don't opt for that, you'll have that much more storage up here. Up to six batteries you can put up here, which is an industry leading size of a compartment for batteries. So I like that. And then switching over here to the other side, uh, this is the opposite side of our pass-through storage. I'm, I'm sorry, this is our propane. Here's our storage. Two propane bottles here, so three total. So 120 on your propane capacity instead of 60 if you were not gen prep. Now these are motion sensor lights. They're not turned on yet. That's why they're not coming on. But if your hands are full, you're loading things in here, these lights are going to pop on automatically. Jayco came out with this five gallon drinking uh, water system a couple years ago. Really like it. That means you're drinking that water, not RV park water. So the ice cubes you're making in the fridge and what you're cooking with comes out of that water. That's our uh, pure sine wave inverter right there to the left. That's supplying inverted power from your batteries to not only your refrigerator, but select outlets inside the coach. Now this is our little utility area in here. Also the lights not turned on yet. So this takes all the guesswork out of how to hook this up properly, depending on if you're dry camping, which is defined as being out in the boondocks where you don't have a water connection. Or if you do have city water available, maybe you're winterizing or sanitizing the tanks. Just follow the color coded guide here. Now I do have a whole house water filter, so all the water going into this coach from the city water fill is getting filtered, so that's good. But in addition to that, again, you know you're drinking purified water with that bottle. Now this has a tankless on-demand water heater. That's an option. Clearly we optioned it with it, so you're not going to run out of hot water with a, a water heater like this. And this is your uh, furnace uh, vent right up here. Um, low point drain is labeled right here. So Jayco does a nice job of labeling low point drains in various um, valve uh, locations just to take the guesswork out of it. So as you're learning the coach, that's real helpful. Now I have access to the back side of the residential fridge right here. 
This is really nice because if you ever have to access this for maintenance, maybe you need to replace this valve, uh, you can do it from this side instead of pulling the refrigerator out from the inside. Nice accessible and lockable door right here. Uh, not a lot to see here. I can point out these are Schwintex slide mechanisms. Our technicians like the Schwintex. They've proven to be the most trouble-free, easiest to trouble shoot. Um, you can see our gray and black holding tank valves here, um, as well as an outlet there, and a place to hold your stinky slinky, as they call them there. Now, there's a uh, tank flush valve right here. This is a great way to keep your black tanks clean. Hook up a hose, a separate hose to that, make sure your valves are open and just let it run. It does a great job of keeping the black tank clean. Now remember, we've got two full bathrooms on this. So we got two commodes, two sinks, two showers in this. So depending on your particular floor plan that you're looking at, whether it's Jayco or other brand, there may be multiple holding tanks underneath for weight distribution and design elements. So sometimes you'll have multiple black tanks and multiple gray tanks. Now on this unit, this is very unique. When it came in, we kind of took a double take. There's a door in the back. Now that's a loft area up front there, but in the back, I have a door that accesses the rear bath and rear bedroom. Why is this here? Let's say you're using this and your sister-in-law comes to stay for a spell, needs a place to live. She has a separate bedroom and a separate bath and even a potential second entrance. Or if you're out at a campsite, this just offers a quick and easy entrance into the bathroom area without having to traipse through the rest of the coach. Now these are the fancy Moride zero gravity steps that fold down just like this. If you don't want these here at all, say you're just not going to use them and you want the extra room in there, these can be removed. Legs are adjustable here, so depending on the, the terrain that you're on, you can set those appropriately. Now, coming around to this side, there's a power outlet. If you want to hang lights or charge an electric golf cart or scooter, you can do that right there. Um, we do have six point leveling on this coach and there is a propane quick connect right here if you have a griddle or a grill that's plumbed to your propane bottles up front. Our frameless windows and note there's a LED light strip under each one of these awnings here. A uh, lot of awning coverage, so we're at about 28 feet, I think, of awning coverage on the what I call the fun side of the unit. This is where all the fun stuff happens. We have JBL branded speaker here. There's JBL sound system inside, JBL speakers in the roof of the unit. It's a giant leap forward and upward in sound quality. There's a little spray port here that's tied into the hot and cold spigot over on the utility side. So if I wanna be washing out some pans or sandy legs and feet at the beach or whatever, I can pop a quick connect uh, uh, spray right in here, wash off my feet and so on. Now notice this is pretty key. Uh, Jayco uh, will put in writing. This is warranted for full-time use. So even if you're out in this enjoying it uh, full-time RVing, it is the warranty does stay intact, whereas some manufacturers will negate your, your warranty. Fantastic floor plan, lots to look at on the outside, but even more on the inside. Let's, so let's hop inside and have a look. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 390 CKDS. What makes this special, among other things, is back here. I have a full bedroom back here. I have a full bath, meaning a shower, commode, and sink in the back. And then above this whole area is a loft. Now up in this loft, I have three separate sleeping pads, certainly big enough for adults. My six foot frame has plenty of room to stretch out. You can even orient those pads north, south, if you've got a couple kids maybe, and they'll have all kinds of room up there. There are USB ports up there for charging. There's household 
plugs up there and there's TV plug up there if you wanted to put a separate TV up there as well. So a lot of times the loft area and a lot of fifth wheels is really like 18 inches or so. I didn't bring my tape measure, but I can get up there on all fours and maneuver around and not crack my noggin. So there's plenty of room to maneuver up there in that loft area, partly because when you go into this bedroom, and I'm just gonna jump right into this, what, what makes this unit special, we're stepping down into this bedroom, which allows all that loft area up there. Now we have a queen bed in here. It's not optional for any other size but queen because this is a fairly small second bedroom, but you have a dedicated second bedroom. I have this. I've got a pretty decent amount of storage up here for hanging clothes items. I've got drawers, uh, you know, a bay of nine drawers under here. They're not super deep, but hey, this is the second bedroom, so if you've got that uh, sister-in-law that's going to stay for a spell, not the worst way to spend some time in here. And I have a separate bed, uh, bathroom, I'm sorry, in here. I uh, have a porcelain foot flush toilet, undermount sink, little medicine cabinet, backlit mirror, and then a tub shower combo. Now, I'm six feet tall, and that's right where my head is. So for kids, this is perfect. For a taller person than me, not so much. But again, remember, this is the second bedroom, second bath. Now notice these, these steps are kind of obtuse here. They're taking up some room. If you don't want these and you're just never going to use them, these can be removed entirely. If you're going to be at a campsite or a location where you want easy access in and out of a second bathroom, a lot of kids running in and out of the coach, then open this door, drop the steps, and they can get in and out of the bathroom without traipsing through, through the rest of the coach. So that's pretty cool uh, to be able to do that. Now just like the front bed, there is storage underneath here. So I have, have room for extra blankets and linens under here. And there's a little cubby right there for shoes and reading material and so on. Now each of the outlets on either side of the bed are inverted. There's a little white sticker there that says so. So both beside this bed as well as the bed up in front, those are inverted outlets. What's that mean? If you're off in the middle of nowhere, turn the truck off, you're still gonna get household current from those outlets from your inverter. That inverter is supplying power to your residential refrigerator, the television in the living room, and all inverted outlets, and they're labeled as such. So this is pretty cool. Um, and then I can, of course, close this off completely here with this door, pull this open. It's a barn door style with a magnet, boom. Total privacy in there. Um, for a guest or kids. And then again, I've got sleeping area up there as well with a little switch there. Now, now that we're up in the front part of the coach, some of this will look familiar with some other floor plans. I don't lose a lot of functionality to the living area like I thought I might by adding that second bedroom. I've still got comfortable recliners here, which are power, lighted, heated, and massage right across from the smart TV. So the smart TV is on a, an elevator, a televator, as we like to say, and it's manual. I'm very okay with that. Anything that doesn't have an electric motor seeing, means there's no electric motor to ever fail. So if you uh, want it down and out of the way, simply push it out of the way. When you want it back up, you release it here, and there we go. Got the fireplace on just for visual effect. It's not throwing any heat right now, but it looks nice. If you want it to throw heat, it certainly will. This will do a nice job of knocking the chill off of a unit, even this uh, size. So nice fireplace. It's a fancy space heater, and you can see our JBL Cube stereo system. So I have uh, ABC. These are the different zones. Uh, a are these speakers right here and only here. B are the speakers up in the ceiling and C uh, is outside. Now you can turn them all on if you want or any combination, but here's the magic. It's JBL and it's, it's a decent sound system, so 
like that Jayco continues to use that. Again, this is an Amazon Fire television. Um, you already have quick shortcuts here for Disney Plus, Hulu, Netflix, and Prime Video. You can uh, utilize other streaming services as well. Makes it real easy to mirror your phone and stream content from your phone to this TV. Now we already have 380 watts of solar up on the roof. There's 290 watt solar panels up there right now. We have a charge controller. You can expand that amount of solar if you'd like. Um, and I need to do a video soon actually on solar and how much solar do you need, how much is too much, how much is not enough. You need to work backwards from what you want the solar to do to determine how much solar you're going to need. So solar sounds great, it's green, it's good, I love it, it's great. Everybody, give me solar, well, what do you want to do with that solar? And that'll help determine how much solar you need. In this case, that's pretty nice, 380 watts, if you're out in the middle of Timbuk nowhere and you wanna keep that residential fridge going, this will extend the amount of time you can do that. Now, can you go on perpetually with no other power? Depends on, depends on a lot of factors. What's the temperature? What's the uh, weather like? How much cloud cover is there? And so on. So not to get bogged down in that, but a lot of things to think about. I have storage up here as well. And this is nice. See, I've got inverted power right here. So that's inverted, both of these outlets. Two HDMI cables for another component up here as well. So I like that that's already pre-wired and not something I have to think about. Now here's a change in 2023. Jayco has, uh, in the past, they had basically a drawer assembly that pulled out and you dropped in a cutting board. Now they've simply hinged this here so you don't have to go hunting for this. This just lives here all the time and you can flip it down out of the way. There is an outlet right here. If you want to have a blender or a coffee maker up on the counter, you can do that. Here's that spigot I was referring to. This is plumbed to that five gallon water bottle that lives down in the basement of the coach. So you're drinking and cooking uh, with that water, not necessarily RV park water here. Um, it's also supplying water for the water in the door as well as the ice maker in this residential refrigerator. So you know you're not getting bad tasting ice cubes in there. Um, nice kitchen. This is a one butt kitchen. One butt can be here at a time. Not, not room enough for two, but that's all right because I got my sink right here, my prep area, turning around for cooking. Um, nice sized oven. Yes, big enough to do that Thanksgiving turkey if you want to do that. This is an Insignia brand, obviously. Chef style four burner. These are cast iron heavy duty grates that are easily removed for cleaning. This is an Insignia brand um, convection micro. It's vented to the outside. Here's a change from in 2023. Used to be this was a wine rack. Now it's spices. Pull this down, you have your spices up here. Easy place to grab uh, your Lowry's seasoned salt and whatever your favorite spices are down here. Put them up there, get them out of the way. This is equipped with the J voice. These are the commands you can use for the J voice. Besides uh, controlling the lighting uh, in different rooms of the coach, it, it controls the second AC, the main AC, just by voice in this little medallion that lives up there on the ceiling. A little more storage up top and nice full extension drawer glides on all of these drawers. Where's the trash can go, you ask? It always goes somewhere. So Jayco takes the guesswork out for you here. Perfect place for the trash can right under here. So if I'm doing prep work, trash goes in there. A little more storage under here. And this is handy because this pulls out so I can put big stock pans and so on. I haven't opened this up yet, but this is a strainer for the sink as well as a teak cutting board cover insert for the sink. And more storage over here too little utensil drawer. Now we have a Whirlpool residential 21 cubic foot side-by-side -side refrigerator. How beautiful is that? I love that it's lighted top to bottom. 
You can load this thing up with groceries. If you're looking at this unit, chances are you've either got some kids or another couple, maybe two couples are going on vacation together. You're gonna to load this up with your favorite munchies and everything, there's plenty of room to do that um, in a residential fridge. Now, also like this, we have a coffee bar. In addition to this prep space, I have, I call this a coffee bar. There's a perfect place to uh, put uh, a coffee maker and yet I don't see an outlet over here. Oh, boom, thank you, right here. All right, so we, got a, we do have an outlet over here. So I can utilize this, have a blender or a coffee maker or what have you. Additional storage up on top here as well. Turn that on. Now, one thing in 2023, there's an abundance of USB charging ports really everywhere. There's two of them inside here. They're at multiple locations around the beds. They're up in the bunk room. Uh, there's some uh, in the island, everywhere. There's lots of uh, places that you can charge your gadgets. Notice that light popped on when I opened up the door. Nice size uh, pantry. And instead of having a wine rack up there, Jayco has moved it down here. So now there's a wine rack uh, for four bottles of wine, if you so choose, and some cute little drawers here. Now, uh, have outlets here on this end of the island. Here's your little fresh water uh, switch. So that's turning on the pump that's pumping that water up from that five gallon drinking water bottle that lives down in the basement. Uh, before I leave this area, point out real quickly, uh, this does expand out to be, to provide room for four. There's storage under each one of these seats storage back there and then I have wireless charging which my phone is utilizing right now so if you lay your phone on there it's uh, and then your phone's capable of this of course it's going to start charging automatically you can pop this up to have household current and USB power there so if you're sitting here with your laptop and I bet you will you can reach up there and, uh, and charge that. So again, I can put two more chairs there and have four folks sitting around um, there. Now here's our control center going up the steps. This is our BM Pro system. This is where we control all the functions of this coach. Our climate, lighting, all the motors, our tanks, and energy, including leveling. So um, you can see our climate. If you click on that arrow to expand it, you can see our main AC. We're in cooling phase right now. I can turn the heat pump on if I want because we do have a heat pump on this unit. Our second AC and our third AC. Now if you put this BM Pro app on your phone, you can do all these functions from your phone. So I do have a ceiling fan, helps circulate the air inside the coach. And maintain a consistent temperature. Speaking of heating and cooling, so you'll notice across the coach here, you have these air ducts right here. Jayco calls this a proprietary helix system. So instead of right angle turns, it's a helix ducting system. It puts less resistance on the fan motors. It's quieter, they can move more air through the roof structure. Every Jayco, even the tiny ones, have a magnum truss roof system. If you could see this roof with x-ray vision, you would see trusses, uh, which allows them to put more insulation in it, easier to heat, easier to cool, and a lot stronger. Every Jayco roof is walkable. Good stuff. Now here's the central vac system. I pointed out the bag area underneath. Just flip that up. And that's what I call the magic dust pan. This is the perfect area for it. You could keep a little straight broom here. This is where the leaves and the grass clippings and the dog hair are gonna end up. Away they go. This little guy right here opens up a connector, connecting point where you can put um, your hose for all your attachments and it'll reach from one end of the coach to the other. Now, moving up into the bath area. Nicely appointed bathroom. We're in the modern farmhouse uh, decor scheme. Jayco gave me my much requested uh, medicine cabinet. Thank you, Jayco. Um, porcelain foot flush toilet. Plenty of leg room in here. I have a little bit of extra room underneath this basin style sink. And you'll notice on the wall is our Truma Aqua Go tankless water heater control. So that's where you're gonna control 
your tankless water heater. Skylight up above here, nice stylish shower surround in here with a teak seat right there. Um, new in 23, much larger shower head. It's all matte black fixtures all throughout the coach, in, including here in the shower. And this moves up and down, very nicely appointed. Now, close this, sneak around here, we'll take a, take a peek at the bedroom. Now I've got a king bed up here in this bedroom area. Very nice walk-in closet, plenty of room to put your shoes. If you want to add a washer and dryer, these shelves are gonna come out and you can put a washer and dryer. It's prepped for the stackable variety. Uh, check out the men, uh, menu for our pillows here. <laughs> Any possible pillow you want, Jayco will provide it. And under here are two matching chairs for up front, our camera, seven inch camera for driving down the road and your security system. So let's talk about that for a second. When you're going down the road, this monitor lives up in the dash of your truck. Hit your right turn signal, you see down the right side of the coach, hit your left turn signal and so on. When you're at your destination, bring this inside. Most people opt to put it right there in the bedroom, but you can put it anywhere. And now you can keep an eye all the way around the coach. Why can you do that? Because now, as it's labeled security camera, it's switched. As long as that's on, it's sending power to those camera locations. So they're all powered. Side cameras, back camera, and the one over the door. You've got a 360 view around this entire coach. So I really appreciate that. There's other goodies in here, central vac attachments here, um, some things for the microwave and so on. But suffice it to say, there's a lot of extra storage in the bedroom area here. A lot of folks want to put a Wi-Fi hotspot in their unit. And if you want to do this, this has the Wineguard 360 plus antenna on it. So as it sits right here, it's a high def television antenna, it's an FM antenna, it's a Wi-Fi booster. But if you want to have a dedicated hotspot, pop this cover off, get a SIM card from your data provider, pop it in there, follow some easy instructions, and then you can create a dedicated Wi-Fi hotspot inside this coach. Now starting in 2023, which this is, this TV in here is smart as well. So this is also an Amazon Fire TV, just like the one in the living room down there. Um, have a little bit of secret storage under, under the lid to this uh, bay of drawers right here. So very nice. So hey, we're in the 390 CKDS model. This is a neat unit. This is the one and the only North Point that has two full bedrooms and two full bathrooms. So. Uh, two couples want to go on vacation together, have their own end of the coach, you can do that here. If you've got uh, kids, in particular maybe some teenagers or even older kids that need their own private space, this will provide that for you. Or maybe you want an alternative residence. This checks a lot of boxes, I think. So, but hey, as always, your vote counts, counts way more than mine. So let me know what you think. I'm really curious. So drop a comment below what you think about this new floor plan that Jayco has rolled out. And if you have questions about this unit, questions in general, drop them below. We'll do our best to get to them. While you're down there, click like and subscribe, and then you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. My name is Mike. As always, I appreciate you joining me, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vod RV.